Well, here we go. How's it going, my friends from Facebook? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I, I'm here in my studio, and we're about to do a painting. We're about to do a little painting. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to get a, a canvas ready. The canvas measures 12 by 16 inches. There we go. We're going to get this canvas ready and get this painting started. So it is very, very simple. There we go. We're going to start out by doing uh, some 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 little drawings first. Okay, very, very, a few lines, just a few lines. This will get our, our design ready. Look at that. It's gonna get our design ready. simple and I'm, I do the initial design also with black paint to keep it um, distinguished right from the white canvas very bold bold brushwork so here we go I'm going to change my brush now and we're going to go for a wider brush. We're going to do a little bit of this. Look at that. Super simple. Then I'm going to use my palette knife and just have some fun with it, you know? Start having some fun with it. The whole, the whole process is to have a little bit of fun. Not overthink it. Don't think too much about it. Don't, don't. It doesn't have to mean that much. I know some artists have a hard time with this. It's one of the reasons why I begin to uh, teach classes. I begin teaching classes around the subject because I know, as myself, I had a lot of hard, I had a hard time with this as well for quite some time, and I discovered that I wasn't alone. Lots of artists think too much around their artwork, and you know, there's a sense of perfectionism, the sense of, and so so they lose the fun. They miss the fun because they constantly think about how they can do their artwork better and better and better. And so they, they completely suck the, the, the fun out of it, the joy, most importantly. And so it becomes a little bit uh, negative, maybe even bitter. That, that even comes in. And so yeah, I try to remind artists as often as I can. You don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do that. You don't have to feel down like that. You can just get your paint set and paint and paint in peace. A little bit of harmony. It doesn't have to be right. It doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be good. It, all you need to do is just show up and start putting some paint on that and don't don't give it much thought and that becomes it becomes fun all over all over all of a sudden you're not thinking about it so much and the whole thing becomes fun which is again something that 
it's been missed a lot a lot of artists miss the fun aspect of painting Look at that. just a little bit of fun nothing has to mean anything Nothing has to be that serious. We're enjoying putting some paint. I'm going to get a wider brush and just like that add some color I'm playing with the idea of having some clouds here maybe one of those uh, interesting skies I still love seeing the paintings of uh, John Constable and Turner Turner and John Constable's cloud skies were some of the things that influenced me the most when painting skies. It all seemed like there was no worry in the way that they painted them. There was no... There wasn't even that big uh, deal, you know? It wasn't even that big deal, big of a deal. It, it seemed like like they painted um, from a space of not worry. But in mind. And so my entire life as an artist, I, I, I searched that up. I wanted to learn how to paint in a way where I didn't have to constantly worry about the artwork. And I could actually enjoy it. So just enjoy it. And then some things, you know, some things come out really nice, other things not so nice and, and and none of it means anything we still continue to enjoy the painting regardless of what our mind tells us most of the time our minds are just lying to us anyways we don't need to pay attention to what's going on in our minds about the painting or about anything else. We're just enjoying ourselves. Different brush. I'm gonna make some nice green here. There we go. 
get some blue. Start putting a little bit of blue in there somewhere. Your sky. Let's see, we have a question with Spence. How is um, all that paint on the background build up? Built up. <laughs> it looks crazy. Good evening, thank you. Yeah, I, you know, all this paint, I have no idea. I think it's just kind of when I, I have paint on, you know, with me and I just, and it's just kind of like clean there somehow. It's so bananas, but it does happen. Over the years, I guess. Look at that. Super simple. Just something that simple.
something like that. I love it. Let's put a signature right here. And there it is. Really nice landscape. Let's see, maybe you can see it from the front here. Sí, los voy limpiando, María. Buena pregunta. It's a very good question. Maria was asking if, if I'm, uh, what do I do with with the brushes as I'm as I'm painting and changing brushes. I uh, I'm cleaning them with with uh, I'm wiping them down with with uh, just paper, toilet paper or, or uh, paper towels. Uh, Honor says, "Hello, uh, Jose. Um, I'm a palette knife painter. Would you take a look at my paintings and tell me what you think? Thank you, absolutely." Absolutely. Well, there it is, my friends. The very simple painting. I mean, I, call, I, I think it's simple. When you give it space, the whole thing just kind of starts building up. This is what I love about expressionism. It's, 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 uh, it's when you give it space that, that it comes together. And so, there it is, my friends. Take care. I just wanted to sit, pop up here and say hi. And I got to get back to some more artwork. Talk to you guys later. Stay well.